Hi, my name is Brian School. I'm a student here at CU Boulder, and this is I'm a sophomore. Uh, I've been a football fan for as long as I can know. Uh, my parents are alumni, and they have had season tickets uh, ever since I was a little kid. And it, I can just keep it going. Okay, so the purpose of me asking all these questions and doing this interview today is just to see what kind of rituals you have before games, like what you have to do, superstitions that give you confidence that CU is going to win if you do accomplish these things. Okay. And I just, I just, I'm just trying to get a, a general sense of what you do as it pertains to what maybe other people do, or what do you do is more individualistic, hold individual to you and your family. Okay. So, you got anything to say about that before we get going? So, Brian, where would you say your superstitions, like, originate from? I'd say my parents, uh, most likely, because every season we would, we have season tickets, and uh, we would go to the same lot, and we would tailgate with the same food, same everything, same games, like cornhole and beer pong, but I used, I was water, it was water, and uh, my dad, he, uh, he always wears a stupid same jersey all the time, and I don't know, it was kind of just like, if we didn't do it right, we would lose. Do your parents still hold those same season tickets? And if not, do you still do the same stuff before games? Well, they don't hold the tickets anymore, but when they do come up, uh, we still do the same tailgating, like I said before, with all the same uh, ideas behind it. And it still works, we get some wins. And But personally, from now on, uh, me and my buddies, we just do the same things. We play beer die. It's like a, it's a new game and it's really fun. And we we throw the football around and we always walk up to the game 30 minutes before the game, so we get good seats and so we can cheer them on. And that's that's pretty much how we do it. And the reason I chose this as my subject to make the documentary media project about is to explore these rituals related to a concept we learned in class about the connection between magic and baseball okay. and I just want to know do you think that it's kind of magic doing this like some superficial superficial rituals that give you confidence that it's going to happen or is it concrete that's going to happen I feel like it is a little bit of magic honestly because some of the stuff that happens in sports you can't really explain or describe and the stuff that I do and other people do are superstitious, it gives you a little more magic, I would say. So, kind of going back to a question I asked you earlier about how you feel your rituals or superstitions are different or the same from maybe like everyone else's, like all other CU fans, if they do it. So, do you see yourself as an, indi as an individual or as like part of a bigger group? I feel as if I'm a part of a bigger group because I feel like everybody has the same tendencies I do with like not washing your shirt or your jersey and tailgating with friends. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have the same uh, methods that I do for games. Although I'm in a larger group of people that have the same tendencies, I feel as if I do stuff differently as well as other people, like going up to the plate differently. Everybody does something different, but it looks like we do the same things, and that was fucked up. I did not say that right. <laughs> but that's fine. We can use that. Even though I said I'm in a big group, I feel like everybody else does things differently. Uh, like, as in baseball, as I said earlier, I go up to the plate differently, and even though I said I'm in a big group, I feel like everybody else does things differently. Uh, like, as in baseball, as I said earlier, I go up to the plate differently, and everybody else has their own different things and shit. Fuck you, Dom. <laughs> Why'd you go into the fucking...